Good good morning everybody. So getting into this latest into the latest episode of General Hospital. So Sam and Dante had a brief scene. She had already dropped off his suit to the drag cleaners for the dragged out wedding of the century between Michael and Willow. And so Dante had next arrived at Sunny's house. Sunny's still upset that it's only Willow that wants him at that wedding and that his girlfriend, the Nina, Nina, still ain't invited. But Sonny is convinced that they're all going to be one big happy family, including Nina, very soon. Like, her del Nina's delusions must be rubbing off on Sonny, huh? So, Nina needs help first. And then... Next we go... Moving on, we go to Laura and Alexis... Alexis was saying this is the the one time she wishes she was in the inner circle of the Cassidines so she would know how to stop Victor. But Laura brought up Nicholas. She just thinks that Nicholas is hiding about this whole Esme situation about holding her hostage. She thinks that's why Nicholas is hiding it. When we, the viewers, know that Mason and his boss have Nicholas held, held hostage while he's in a coma. So... There's that. I can't. I can't wait until we get to that storyline because I want to finally know who Mason's boss is. But right now, Laura, Laura and Alexis are in the dark on that. They, don't, they have no clue. And then, move. But moving on from that, Gladys is going to hell with gasoline draws on. She just. She is one duplicitous piece of work. So Sasha wanted to defend Cody. She's like, I can't. I, I'm having trouble seeing him that way. He's always been nothing but nice to me. Why would he want to steal? All all of a sudden, I have trouble believing that. Gladys is like, I, I, oh, I know people like him, and blah 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 blah. They always they always have to. You have to watch your watch your back and watch your stuff. Cause yeah, he's just he's just a grifter. He's just whatever. Like Gladys, you're the biggest grifter there is. You're the one that's sitting over there spending. Sasha's money on some luxurious trip to to the Caribbeans. So Gladys need to go take several seats. And then but Gladys was able to pretty much successfully manipulate her throughout this episode. And then after but after Sam but there's one person Gladys wasn't able to manipulate. So after Sam had had a brief scene with Christina she was making fun of how Christina always borrow, borrows her stuff and never returns it. And, and then Sam walked her way over to Gladys. Sam see right through. Sam, Sam see, see right through Gladys. And she was not buying Gladys's beer. Gladys was trying to lay it on thick with Sam too. Talk about, oh, how you being a cop's girlfriend, how you should know better than defending Cody and blah, 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 blah. And then Sam was like, okay, okay, even if Cody really did steal that necklace, what difference would it make to you? And then Gl Gladys just, just um, jumped her sneaky ass out of Charlie's pub after that. Because Sam has her number. I can't wait for Sam to get her. And then... On... Now, back back on to Cody. Brooklyn has his back because Brooklyn knows that Gladys ain't shit. So... But Cody's mainly worried about what Sasha... What Sasha thinks. And then... But at least Brooklyn was able to convince Ned not to fire him. So... Is that good? Good deed, Brooklyn. You know I don't like Cody either, but he's innocent in this whole Gladys thing. So Gladys is the eviler of the two, of the two grifters between Cody and and Gladys. I'll tolerate Cody for now. Um, but but Sasha goes to the Quartermans to go visit C Cody and. Of course, right now, you know how these shows are. So, even though he tried to warn her about Gladys, but he won't tell her the full story because he's scared of Miss Wu. And 
who could blame him for being scared of Miss Wu? That woman don't play. Um, but Sasha had a, has to drink Gladys's Kool Aid right now, and she says, "No, Cody, you're the one I can't trust." And she walk and she storms off. I'm like, Ugh. poor Sasha. She's been through enough, and now she has that grifter Gladys manipulating her. She does not deserve that. But Gladys is going to get hers, too. I can't wait until she gets her comeuppance. She's going to get it. And then Christina and Dex had some scenes that really reminded me, that, that really reminded me of why I believe they should be they could be a really hot couple one day. I hope he at least cheats on Jocelyn with Christina at one point. But Sunny had Dex drop off some paperwork for Christina, given her ownership of this homeless shelter that she wants to open. And then Christina just go just goes on to say how Sunny understands her better than anyone else and she wishes the world could see him the way the way she does. And Dex seemed like he was contemplating that a little bit. He was like, oh, felt a little bit guilty, but then he went when he left outside, he went and called Michael to let him know about the about the Pikeman deal. <laughs> But I think I think Christina might forgive Dex first, because Dex is just doing his job. It was Michael, it was Michael and Jocelyn that are the betrayers here. Well, Michael, the main one, and then Jocelyn is also a traitor. So I'd rather Christina focus her wrath on them when this all hits the fan. Wow! And then I hope she seduces Dex away from Jocelyn. She could pull it off. And then what goes around comes around because Jocelyn cheated on Cameron with no problem when he got when she got the better option with Dex. She thought Dex was the better option. She she slept she traded Cameron real quick. She didn't even give Cameron a second thought when she cheated on him with Dex. So mm-mm. it goes around comes around. That's all I'm gonna say. And then but, Molly, but moving on from that, Molly seems to have some condition that will require surgery. Um, and then Alexis asks TJ about ALS because you know how front, you know Gregory ha- has ALS. So Alexis was trying to figure figure that out to see if there's any way she can she can help him. But when Molly but when Molly joins them, Alexis instantly asks her what's wrong. So they're going to resume that conversation in the next episode. So Curtis and Drew went searching for something and they were sitting there and they were going through through some things. That's when Drew brought up Oscar and that makes Curtis even more determined to find Trina. Um, and, but they found a map that might lead them to where Victor, Victor is holding Spencer and Ace and Trina hostage. So, ho- hopefully, hopefully that leads them to the rescue. And then, Laura, they also filled Laura in on it. So, but now we finally get to the main event. To the main event of this episode. We got, we got our Sprina on. Sprina, also known as Spencer and Trina. Trina was not feeling that little lost and found outfit that Victor's people have her wearing. But she ain't worried about that because she trying to get her freak on with Spencer. And before that old bastard Victor tries to come back to kill them. And they was about to get it on too. Until, until Spencer realized that the boat had landed. So there's that. There's that. But overall, I thought this episode... But that was pretty much it in today's episode. I thought this was a really good episode for the most for the most part. Um, can't wait for Gladys to get her shit. Because she is just trifling. Completely trifling. I can't stand her. But let me know what y'all thought of, thought of this episode in the comment section below. And I will see you all later. Peace.